everyone. It's Talia Rose, and this is my good friend Erin Calderoni, who has joined us today to give us a killer full body workout in your own living room with hardly any equipment. So what do you have for us? Well, I use these, um, they're called Val Slides, and they're actually sold at ValSlide.com. Um, Valerie Waters actually invented these, and I like to use them because you can use them on your carpet, and they're kind of slippery, so they'll slide almost like skating. You just have to be careful that you don't go too far and do the splits. <laughs> and they, they provide for a killer workout when you use them, everything totally. burns. If you totally. think a normal squat is hard, if you try to do one with an extension and a Which slide, I do. <laughs> it burns. Yeah. But then, I don't like to spend money <laughs> on anything. And these do cost money, so. They do, they're a little pricey, but um, affordable. But I just went out to Home Depot and I bought furniture movers. And it's literally just foam on top and then a slippery slide. Now, these are inferior to this nice version because these are longer, it's the length of your foot. But I honestly just go on the balls of my feet with this and I, they work great. And they were five bucks for a pack of 20. So you can buy them and share them with your friends and then move your furniture when you need to. So. Yeah, it's kind of in, just in case. <laughs> Another thing, if you have wood flooring or if you have linoleum, you can also use a towel on the floor because that will slide as well. Um, just be careful and fold up the towel uh, so you have a little bit of cushioning. But other than that, that should work just fine. All right, I'm a little nervous, Erin. So what do you have for okay. <laughs> Well, we're going to do a full body exercise. Okay. So we're going to do legs, abs. Um, we're going to do some for your pushing muscles, for your chest and tries, and then also for your back. So okay. let's get started. <laughs> okay, all right, let's go. All right, so. First, we're gonna do a reverse lunge. So what I want you to do is go ahead, toss one of these aside, stick one foot uh, right on top of that slider, okay? And I like to do it on the ball of my foot, toes in the middle. And then all we're going to do is just slide that foot back as we do a reverse lunge. So you're gonna drop down like this, and then go all the way up. Okay? Ooh. So go ahead and do 10 of these, and I'm just gonna fix your form here. So step forward a little bit more so you don't run to the couch. And then what you want to make sure that you do is keep this knee right on top of your ankle right there. And don't make it go past your toes in the front. So you're going back, it feels more like yes. not pushing forward. I'm pushing back. Absolutely. And you'll actually feel this more if you push through your heel. You'll feel it more in your Ooh, butt, yeah. in your glutes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Which is something that we all want to work. Booty burn, egg. That's right. <laughs> Great. So we're going to do two more. Right. And then we'll switch sides. So that's going to do the same thing. Awesome. And the carpet provides a lot of drag for it, so that's really good. Gives you a little bit of resistance. All right, yeah. I'm going to fix you in here too. That's okay. So just make sure your knees are right on top of your ankle, right there. Perfect. It's easy to forget. You want to just shoot <laughs> forward. Totally. Well, most of the time we do too much with our quads, mm -hmm. our, our thigh muscles in the front, when we should actually be using our strong glute muscles in the back. So this can really help to develop that. Tricky glute muscles. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And that's definitely burning. Both yeah. legs, actually. Well, this one's getting a really nice stretch. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's really good. The last one. Perfect. Okay. Our next exercise, we're going to actually transfer down to the floor. We'll do some push ups. And this is a little twist on your standard push up. So go ahead and get both sliders. And then you're going to do um, push-ups with your knees, so a modified push-up, not a standard push-up. If you're a much stronger person, then you can go ahead and graduate to the feet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll start here, though. Okay. okay, so doing your standard push-up, you're just going to slide the sliders out to the side, and then push up and bring them back in. Woo! You can already feel this is going to be tough. Yes. Good job. Whew. Okay, so keep those shoulders. Woo! Okay, so if we're having trouble with this, I'll <laughs> give you a little tip. Okay, so take one hand off. Give me one of your sliders. There you go. Take Perfect. It. Keep it. All right. So now I'll do the same thing, and we'll just do five each side. Okay. There you go. Much better. Much better. But if you graduate to where you can get strong enough to do that, totally. more power to you. <laughs> totally. Okay. Good. Yeah. Let's Ooh. see. Other side. Perfect. That works. Things I don't think I've ever worked before. <laughs> <laughs> we all need that, right? It actually does help, although we can't make it even bigger. It'll help keep that breast tissue actually up and perky. Which so after <laughs> breastfeeding helps a lot. So yay totally. for perky boobs. <laughs> All right. All right. Perfect. Okay, so let's go back and work the legs again. Give your chest a chance to rest. So there you go. There's your slider. We're going to take one of these, and this is where you might have some trouble if you have the cheaper version. Um, just make sure that you put the ball of your foot on top of that slider then if you have the cheaper version, or you can put your whole foot on it for the valve slides. Okay, and all we're going to do is keep all our weight on this left leg right here, and then 
do a side lunge. So you're actually doing a single leg squat on this leg and then bring it back in. Don't go out so far that you feel like a tearing here. It should just feel like a nice little stretch. Perfect, and you're always keeping that weight on your left leg. Nice. So we're actually working the left leg more than the right leg here, which is a good thing. We're again, we're working that booty. <laughs> Ooh. I'm just gonna make sure you don't go out too far. Perfect. Oh, that's okay, good, that's, that's better. better. That's, that's actually a good length for you. I like it. <laughs> I was trying to like do the splits or something. Yeah, don't, don't <laughs> overdo it here, Talia. We are getting creative with the torso here. <laughs> Okay, Okay. let's go ahead and switch sides. And then I'll show you a way to safely make this a little bit more difficult. If you've graduated, you've gotten a little bit stronger. So See. we can add weights to it and it'll be a little bit more challenging. And again, we've talked about this before in another video, but I feel so much more strength in this side than I do this side. Because if you are a typical right-handed mom, you're holding your baby here on this side. Yeah. And so this side is <laughs> strong. I could start a marathon with this half of my body. Just the right leg, right? This <laughs> upper body, not so much. So, think that's, yeah, so we got to keep it even. Awesome, okay, so now let's go ahead and do an ab exercise. So we're gonna have you grab both of those sliders, and then you're gonna get into a push-up position with your toes on the slider. So let me just show you how this works here, and then you can do it. Okay, so we'll get into that push-up position. All you're gonna do is slowly bring up one knee, and then place it back on the other side. Okay. Okay. So you to get back on the mountain climber. Yep. Okay. It's a nice plank position. Since we really don't want to lose our sliders. <laughs> no. Don't Good. lose our sliders. And back. Awesome. So I like how you can keep your hips nice and stable here. You want that nice straight line. And we're going to actually work that core really, really well. It's tempting to want to kind of do this. Right. And that's wrong. We do not want to arch the back that low. Lost my slider. There we go. Awesome. What are you doing there? Your arms are a little funky. <laughs> All right, let's do two more each side. And what I normally have you do is go ahead and do 10 reps each side, but you may have to work up to that. That's okay to go ahead and do six each side, eight each side the next time, and then work up to 10. Work? Okay. Yeah, work it up. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm actually going to show you a back exercise. It's hard to do with the bow slides to find a back exercise that's easy enough to do. Um, so go ahead and we're going to grab your weights and I'll give you these weights because I like some trainers. I want the two pounders. <laughs> I don't think that women should just be lifting two or three pound weights. We need to build strength here and there's no way that this is gonna make you super bulky either, but it's gonna keep you strong for carrying that kid around. Okay, so go ahead, turn to the side so you can see your nice flat back. What you're gonna do is bend your knees, get into a nice flat back position right here. You can actually bring your chest more towards the floor so you're almost in a tabletop. Good, and then all you're gonna do is pinch right here and pull those weights back. Then you can keep your elbows in. And then, yeah, brushing your side right here. So this is what you would call a bent over row. And this is working for back muscles right here. That's really gonna help with posture and offsetting the fact that, you know, after you have a baby, your boobs are a little bit bigger and so they're gonna have the tendency to pull you forward and around your shoulders. So we're kind of strengthening those back muscles to keep you up, upright and have great posture. It's burning the booty too. Yeah, well, that's what you're getting. Two for one with that squat. <laughs> awesome. Let's do one more. Great job. Woo! Look how you're doing that. You're not letting your shoulders elevate. It is tempting really to drop the shoulders. Okay, so go ahead and grab your doll sides one more time. This is our last exercise. I really like it for the core. It also gets your hips. So we'll keep those hips nice and toned. Okay, so go ahead and get in that push-up position one more time, just like with our mountain climbers. Okay, so grab my feet. Yep, so the valve slides are underneath your feet, and then I'm gonna have you scoop forward towards the camera a little bit more, because you do need space on either side of you. What you're gonna do is get in that nice push-up position, okay, keep that nice plank, and then swing each leg out to the side one at a time. Woo! Perfect, so you'll start feeling this in that lower abdominal area, which I know that a lot of women complain about that not being super tight, especially if they're, after they've had a baby. Um, so I really, really like this exercise. It's also working out those hips. Really nice. Mm, so good. good. Yes, this is the good kind of pain, right? Great job. Let's do one more each side. And then back. Awesome. All right, relax. So Ooh. this is where you probably want to get a drink of water, Take a little bit of a break, <laughs> right? I have and sweat. And then come back. <sighs> so that killed me. So that was just one set of 10. 
So what do you recommend building up to? Well, I recommend starting with that. And if you can't do a full 10 repetitions, go ahead and start with six or eight repetitions, work your way mm -hmm. up to 10. Um, and then you can start adding more sets. So I like to do things like we did that, one exercise after the other, and that gives you like a circuit style workout. So then your body can rest one muscle group while you're working another muscle group, and it keeps your heart rate up, keeps you burning those calories. So go ahead and do one rotation, and then you can start adding more rotations. Two or three, even four is okay, and that should only take you 20 to 30 minutes, maybe 40 if you do four rounds. Awesome, and you're probably thinking as a mom, when do I have 40 minutes to put myself through this? <laughs> well, <laughs> I've had to learn how to squeeze it in, and right now my son's napping, but usually I'm prepping for dinner when he's napping, so I've actually learned to save my workouts till the evening when my husband gets home and we watch a movie or a TV show and we relax. And yeah. it actually helps, you know, it, sometimes uh, you were even saying earlier that um, you can just use an ad break and just yeah. do the workout then. Totally. But if you want to keep your heart rate up and you're watching a movie or something, just do it through the whole thing and then the last 20, 30 minutes of the movie you can relax. But you have to fit it in when you can. And you can do that while watching a movie without having to make it a priority and setting aside time for it. So perfect. Yeah, give just it a shot. Keep <laughs> active. That's the whole thing. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much for watching and I hope this helps, guys. Thanks. Bye.